hey hi in this video we will see how to enable azure event subscription on azure subscription with using event grid here i have an example azure subscription on that azure subscription we're gonna enable the event subscription so as you know that on azure subscription every activity that is happening on the azure is being tracked as an activity log and that is called as an event now you can subscribe to that event and collect the required event and you can do a certain activity on that event for example say you can um, have the alerting system you can do a uh, trigger then particular workflow or you can use it for uh, you know any other activity in, in your azure subscriptions so in this video we will see like you know how we can use the azure event grid within that we're going to create an azure event topic and then use it in the azure subscription event configuration and then finally we're gonna push that event to the azure storage queue so here we are using the event grid azure event grid is a highly scalable fully managed pub sub message distribution services so basically you know this is a service which can help you to uh, you know uh, uh, publish a message and subscribe a message okay so you, as you see here it is subscribing the information or messages from the azure subscription event and then publishing that image into the azure storage queue so here i will show you how we can have this setup enabled on the azure subscription so that you know we collect the required event and store it into a azure queue right and from there we can use it for any other activities so um, i am currently in my azure subscription as you see here so this is my azure subscription so within this azure subscription i will go to the events as you see here in the uh, in the in the left hand side so before i go to the events let me talk something about activity logs whatever activity that you do in the azure tenant or basically in the azure subscriptions you know everything is tracked here if you see here every operation is been tracked so now uh, so we want to you know uh, basically subscribe the sum of the events and uh, collect those events and use it for certain activity so in such cases we're going to use a capability called events from the events you know you can configure a configuration called event subscription so with this using this event subscription you know i can extract the required events from the azure subscription and store it into a somewhere else so that i can use it for our automations so here i'm gonna create an event subscription as of now so let's click on a create event subscription let me give as you know so for example say as part of this demo you want to collect the events wherever some resource groups are being created right now how to do that so for that case you know let's create an event subscription for that let me call it as a rg creation capture events right so this is my name i have given to this particular configuration that is rg create capture event and then in the event schema let it be event grid schema uh, in the topic you see that you know the azure basically you know here we're going to use the event grid within the event grid you're going to create a topic and to that topic you know you're going to do a pub sub activity that is publishing a message subscribing the message like that so here uh, we're going to use the storage that is a resource group that is my resource group and here you need to give a system topic so if i go to the uh, another tab where i can search about the event grid when you click on an event grid so this is where you see this is a service so within this services there are a lot of uh, you know uh, possible features here so here we're going to use the azure service events in the sense we are subscribing from the azure services say subscription itself is an azure services right so that is basically system topic so we're going to use the system topic here and during this configuration itself you need to give a system topic name so let me call it as a sub events collector because it is collecting the subscription events so that is my system topic name now in the event type so you can also explicitly narrow down the events that you would like to capture so here i would like to have all the events uh, for now and then we're gonna do a further filtering of that for now let's grab all the type of events and then from there you know we're gonna filter out the particular event and put it into the destination or delivery property or into the delivery de deliveries basically delivery space and then the end point so here i'm gonna use a storage account queue as i said in the in the initial talk so we're going to use the storage queue so i have azure, azure storage account in that one i have created a queue so i'm going to use that now so here click on a configure endpoint and then you're going to choose the uh, you know the storage account let's use this existing queue okay 
or you can create a new queue. So let me create a new queue called um, say like you know demo queue for events. So let me call it as a demo queue for events. Okay, and then we're gonna use this particular uh, queue for endpoint uh, endpoint uh, configuration. So okay, so here our endpoint is nothing but what it's a queue. Now with that said, let's go to the another property called filters. In the filters, you know, so here there are two, uh, two types of possible filters that you can uh, use it. One is subject level filter. Subject level filters are, you know, very, uh, uh, very easy to use filtering. That is, you know, you can explore this one, but, uh, you know, as a best practices and to narrow down uh, to the little bit deeper, you can use the advanced filtering. In the advanced filtering, if you read this one, you're going to understand what is it telling. So basically here you can use the, you know, the ID, topic, subject, event type and the data versions of an event. So what are all those? Let me show you that. If you go to the Azure subscription and then open any Azure events or Azure activity logs, right? So let me open the Azure activity log and let's open the first activity logs. So from the activity logs, you're going to see those properties. Okay. So let's open this one and click on this one. Go to the JSON. Uh, in the JSON, you have the claims. You can minimize the claims. And then comes the whatever data. You see that there are like keys like event name, category, timestamp, ID. So you see there is an ID, operation name, right? So that is what uh, it means here. So, okay. So there is a schema basically. Um, so that is nothing but, you know, here we are using the event grid schema, right? And that event grid schema comes with a, uh, you know, what comes with these kind of keys. That is ID, topic, subject, event type, the, you know, data version, something like that. So that is what we are looking here. So here we are looking for, uh, you know, the operation name. So we are looking for operation name that is, which is comes under data. So that's the reason uh, my advanced filtering would look something like this. So, so if you see here, there is an example called data dot key dot key to something like that. So for the, for now, we're going to do the same thing. So let's use first option that is data. I have already stored somewhere in my notepad so that I can reuse it. So here, um, so let me copy this one. So you can use the data dot operation name so remember that it's a case sensitive so uh, give the key name as exactly as i'm showing you here that is operation name so why operation name because i want to capture the event uh with operation name equal to resource group right whenever resource group is being created so it's going to generate an event with the operation name equal to resource group right instead of delete it will say resource group right right so we're going to collect that event that's the reason uh, data dot operation name uh, say like you know contains string contains value equal to so basically it should contain a, a string operation name should be equal to this one that is nothing but it's a it's a action um, you know id generally okay so we're gonna use that value that is operation name equal to this one that is nothing but resource groups right so make sure that everything is clear that's the reason it's very critical and again, so not only one uh, advanced filter, you can use the multiple advanced filter, which can, which will actually narrow down your, uh, you know, the filtering criteria and makes it very compact one. Okay. Next one, we go to the additional features. Let it be like this in the delivery features. Let it be like this. Okay. Now for now, what we do is, you know, we're going to create this one. So here, uh, you know, it will ask you for creating a system ID, but for now, uh, when I'm creating this kind of event, uh, subscription through the GUID or uh, through this UI. Uh, you know it is fails basically so that's the reason for now let me make it as a none and then we need to um you know we need to later we need to create an managed identity of the topic that is getting created out of this particular activity that is create event subscription with using that managed identity you need to give a access on that managed identity why because here azure event grid topic is acting as a pub sub service which means that you know it is uh, it is, you know, uh, subscribing the message or basically retrieving the messages from the subscription, right? And then publishing that message into the uh, into the queue. So basically, it is acting as a pub sub message distribution service. Okay, that's the reason I'm just giving it as an example. Okay, so now let me open this one. So you see that if I go to the uh, Azure subscription now, and then I will click on uh, events now because I've just now created. Now you see that we have one system topic, and then you go here. You go. So we have another uh you know the we go you know here is the uh we have the subscription being created right now if i go to the another tab where i have showed you the event grid so i didn't create any event grid manually so far now you see that the our event grid is now created so i'm going to click on that and we go to the identity and now we're going to enable the identity so since i'm doing this configuration manually to make you to understand 
when you do it with using the terraform or something like that it will be done automatically so you don't need to worry about that so what we are doing is when here uh, we have enabled the event subscription and as part of that configuration a system topic was created in the event grid now on that system topic you know what i'm doing is i'm enabling the uh, system uh, basically system assigned identity now to that identity i will assign a roles now what are all the roles so you need to assign the two roles that is the event grid message sender and then you need to enable the storage queue because we are using the storage queue data so right so data a uh, contributor so we need to uh, give those roles so i'm going to show you those roles here let's give the scope equal to azure subscription itself for now and then here let me uh, search out the uh, basically the role so here is event grid data sender right so let me assign the role that is event grid data center why event grid data center because event grid is going to send the data to the storage queue so that's the reason you need to have the event grid data center access right so how to do that as i said just type event grid and you're going to have the lot of possible options uh, so in that one we're going to use the event grid data center and click on assign so once you uh, click on assign it will be assigned here automatically now again we need to assign one more role that is uh, something uh, which i'm going to show you now that is let's assign the storage queue access that is storage queue contributor so let me call that as storage um or just search a word called queue so you're going to have the storage data message sender so we're going to have we're going to enable the uh, event grid topic with the permissions to also send the message to the queue so basically we are giving very explicit roles or we are assigning an explicit roles to this particular um, you know the system identity all right so with that uh, said you know so this is uh, it will not show but looks like there is a bug but here you can see that you know um, so here we have assigned the two roles uh, which we can again see by going here come back to this particular uh, page and then go to the identity and then click on assign role so you should be able to see the both the roles so far now it has assigned both the roles now what we do is you know with that configuration being said uh, we're gonna go back to the here that is again to the subscription and then go to the event subscription and click on the subscription that we have created that is event subscription and here you again go back to the uh, additional feature now try to use the system identity that is nothing but use the system assigned identity and then click on a save if everything is good the configuration will be saved because you know you have created a topic and that uh, you know the event grid topic had the you know required permission so that that's the reason uh, you said that deploying the event grid subscription got uh, successful okay now let me refresh it so i'm a bit nervous about uh, you know if we have not assigned the uh, data contributor uh, that is storage uh, storage queue data contributor access so let me retry it again so that uh, we avoid the issues here so let me uh, let me assign the queue right and then it's a message sender and then i'm going to keep it uh, role assignment here you go it looks like you know the role is already exists so it is not listing here because of the because of the obvious reason so here you go right so it, it has now appeared now with that said you know my uh, configuration for event subscription looks to be perfect now in the another tab i'm going to open the queue so we're going to go to the storage account in the another tab and then from there we're going to go to the queue okay so if i go to the uh, storage account in the another tab that is where our delivery point is so delivery point is nothing but you know that's where our event is getting delivered so now i go to the uh, storage account here and then we're going to go to the storage explorer in the storage explorer i am interested on the queue so we're going to use the queue so in this one that is a demo queue uh, for the text and uh, right now it does not has any any queues any queue messages now why because you know uh, because you know we had we don't have any event of that pattern now once the subscription is been set then only whatever the event gets generated that would be you know the listened by this particular event subscription and that event will be captured in the delivery point that is a storage queue now let me um, create an example storage uh, example uh, resource group and generate an artificial event uh, in the azure subscription so that you know it will get captured by the uh, event subscription and put that event into the storage queue so let me call it as a test rg something like this and then let me do a review and create so if everything is good you know you can also see that you know um, 
so you can also see the uh, uh, you know the graph which will show about the events that is being generated here so previously you see that previously i have did something that's the reason it is uh, trying to show you this much this much graph now how to conclude that you know it has uh, done the job by going to the uh, by going to the queue so go to the queue and try to refresh it here you go so right now it has received a message saying that uh, you know the um, it has uh, it has received the particular message so you can see that message by going to the json lint let me go to the json lint and then we try to uh, you know uh, make it uh, readable uh, json and here you go so this is how my message looks um, when i go to the json lint right and then uh, for now you can ignore these all so these are all the claims so it contains the data http request and then our operation name so my operation name was this one so that's the reason it is now working as expected all right so basically now as an example let me try to uh, do another one um and let me create another uh, store resource group and then i will say review and create so as soon as i create a, a resource group it is generating an event in the subscription and that is being captured by the event subscription and then the event subscription is putting that message into the queue which is basically a delivery point so from here we can use it for any purpose you can store it into the somewhere else you can try to invoke a workflow say like logic app uh, you can invoke a function app you can invoke a, you know maybe your application you can invoke your custom apis from here and you can use it okay so for now uh, i have shown you the things need to be shown in this video uh, finally i can't request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video